the tree planting is part of a sustainability agenda. I mean, behind me are children that you see, and these are the children of the future, the children who will become the leaders of tomorrow. And we believe that for our children and the youth to thrive, they need to thrive in an environment that is protective. They need to thrive in a place that provides all that is necessary for them. And so we see the tree planting as part of our sustainability agenda. As a child focused, a Christ centered, and a child driven organization, it is the reason why we are partnering with the churches, the communities, our opinion leaders, and even the youth themselves to plant over 19,000 trees today. But moving forward, we are going to plant even more. We, we've come up with an idea from my team that for every child that we bring onto the project, we are going to plant one tree. And with the over 95,000 children we currently have, what it means is that in the next foreseeable future, we will be in a position to plant over 150,000 trees with a hope that we will contribute to the SDGs, we will contribute to the national agenda. But even for us as a Christ-centered organization, protecting the creation that God has entrusted to us. So this is consistent with our vision, it is consistent with our mission, but it's also consistent with our sustainability agenda with the future of the children at stake. I think the, for us the benefit is not necessarily to us as individuals, but it really it adds up to a number of things that we do to protect our children, a number of things that we do to preserve the future of the children. We're moving around, we've seen a number of um, water that are polluted, a number of places which are cleared. In the next foreseeable future, with increasing climate um, temperatures and others, we believe that if, if we do this, um, it's going to create a natural environment that protects the children, that gives them the environment to thrive. For the caregivers and the parents who are into farming and other economic productive activities, agro-based, the environment protects it and it also ensures that their products are thriving. So the, the benefit is not to us necessarily, but it's really as a collective benefit that we gain as, as a nation and as a community. So we have over 400 church partners across the um, over 10 regions of Ghana. So in all these 10 regions, that's where our church partners are. So some are Currently, some of our main team are in Senya Breku, others are in Kuntunse, some are in Central Gonja, some are in Ejumako, um, some are in other places, um, Sunyane, Kumase, and all the other regions contributing and joining hands in this agenda. So it's a nationwide thing as, as compassion organization we are doing with our church partners. Mm -hmm.